Hey everybody! So I actually had recorded this tutorial back in, I want to say March, and it is now August. So you can see how long that was procrastinated out. So I just wanted to record this intro because I did the voiceover. I tried to do the voiceover like six times and it just wasn't working. I used two simple color nail polishes, the blue and the white, and then I used China Glaze's top coat at the end. Oh, the brush set that I'm using, it came with the brush and the dotting tool that I'm using. I got on Amazon for like a dollar and sixty cents, which is an awesome deal because I bought a package of four brushes at Sally's for fifteen dollars and this package came with like eighteen different brushes and there's flat brushes and angled brushes and tiny little detailing brushes and it's just awesome. I think that was all I was gonna say. I just realized I looked like a floating head. I promise I'm not. I'm the room is just really dark and I didn't feel like turning lights on. I really need to stop blabbing. So you guys can watch this, because this is going to be way too long now. So, enjoy! So I started off by painting my nails white, and then I started painting the design over it. Um, this image is a good example of the florally flower designs that I did on my nails. So this was the blue that I used, this was the white that I used, and this was the top coat that I ended up using, which is from China Glaze. So here I am starting off the flower. Um, these are the smaller petals that are in the center of the flower. And then I'm going to paint on the larger petals and then the leaves and everything else. Um, so for the most part, these are kind of abstract squiggly shapes that form into a flower. There isn't really any rhyme or reason as to what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of trying to make them look like a flower. I'm going to add in more petals. And then I'm going to add some leaves. And then I'm going to go in and darken the outline of the petals to add some depth in because I'm going to add in um, blue in the center of the petals to give it some color. Um, and I wanted the petals to still be dark so you can still see the outline. So now I'm going to go in with my dotting tool um, just to get in and add some smaller details that I couldn't really get with the brush. Um, just some shadows and adding in some more leaves and viney things. Um, and then I went back to the brush to paint in the little leaves. And with this design, you can kind of do whatever you want. You don't have to follow any set rules or anything. It's just kind of have fun with whatever you end up coming up with. I did mostly flowers, but this one is based on the cat, the little flower on the back of the cat. So I did the four petals and the tiny leaves. Added some more details, and then here's me putting the top coat on the other fingers that I did previously. I didn't record these ones, and this was the finished product. So, um, this isn't, I wouldn't recommend this for a, someone who's starting out with nail art. Um, it is a little bit more advanced than basic, but it isn't terribly difficult, and it's not crazy time consuming as long as you stay focused. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any requests for any um, nail art videos or anything you want me to do in the future, just comment down below and I'll try and do them. Um, links to everything I used and descriptions are down below and links to my social media stuff is down below also. So thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!